Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with water supply engineering in the topic of distribution system. So the problem is, calculate the storage required to supply the demand shown in figure if the inflow of water to the reservoir is maintained at the uniform rate through 24 hours. Okay, so the time 0 to 4 hours, the demand in the million liters is 0.48. So then 4 to 8 hours 0.87, 8 to 12 hours 1.33, 12, 12 to 16 hours 1.0, then 16 to 20 hours 0 0.82, then 20 to 24 hours 0 0.54. Okay, so this is the demand in the million liters, then uh, time also given. So we have to find out uh, the storage capacity of the uh, water supply okay so now uh, so the cumulative demand so how much amount of water to be supplied in the city is uh, we can add all those things we got the value so now the total demand so total demand during day so we can add all those things so now we got the value of 5.04 million liters per day okay so now the supply during the day equal to total demand so uh, we have to supply 5.04 million liters per day okay so now constant hourly supply Okay, so now we got the value of 0 0.21. Okay, so per hour we have to supply 0 0.21 million liters. Okay, so now per day we need 5.04 million liters, but uh, we have to supply per hour 0 0.21 because uh, the reservoir is maintained to uniform rate of throughout 24 hours. So we have to per hour we can send 0 0.21 million liters okay so now here they given the four hours of supply so 0 to 4 4 to 8 8 to uh, 12 12 to 16 like that so now four hours of supply zero point two one into four so now we got the value of zero point eight four million liters per per 4 hours okay so now uh, in 4 hours we have to send 0 0.84 million liters okay so every uh, 4 hours uh, we can send 0 0.84 hours so the constraint is so in some time uh, the requirement is will be more so we can take it as example of uh, morning uh, peak time so we need extra quantity of water okay so in uh, afternoon so the peak uh, demand will be low okay so likewise so how much amount of water supply excess supply and how much amount of uh, supply is demand so we can uh, carry both things so we have to uh, fix the storage tank in the town okay so now we can use the analytical solution to find out the total storage required okay so now uh, we can find out the excess demand as well as excess supply so after that we can find out the how much storage uh, capacity is required okay so now uh, the time is 0 to 4 hours, 4 to 8, so then 8 to 12, 12 to 16, 16 to 20, 20 to 24, okay. So now demand is 0 0.48, 0 0.87, 1.33, 1.00, 0 .00, so then 0 0.82, so this is 0 0.54 so these are all the given values so now uh, we can uh, add all those things of cumulative demand so now 0 0.48 so 0 0.48 plus 0 0.87 so we got the value of 1.35 so 1.35 plus 1.33 2.68 2.68 plus 1 3.68 3.68 plus uh, 0 0.82 so that is 4.50 4.50 plus uh, 0.54, 5.04. Okay, so now we got the value. So likewise, the pumping in uh, milliliters, so that is uh, 0 0.84, 0 0.84. So per 4 hours, so we can uh, send 0 0.84.
जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर सो नो क्यूमुलेटिव पंपिंग सो जी जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट सो वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट प्लस जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर इज टू पॉइंट फाइव टू सो दिन टू पॉइंट फाइव टू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर थ्री पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स देन फोर पॉइंट फोर जीरो देन फाइव पॉइंट जीरो फोर so here the cumulative demand is there then cumulative pumping is there so now we can find out the excess supply or uh, excess demand so now uh, here the we required is 0.48 but we send 0.84 so there is excess supply that is 0.36 okay so next thing is uh, the required is 1.35 but uh, we pumping is 1.68 so this is excess supply so that is 0.33 excess supply so next thing is the demand is 2.68 but we supply only 2.52 okay so here is the supply is demand okay so now we can put over here so 1.0 sorry uh, 0.16 so next thing is uh, the required quantity is 3.68 but uh, we supplied only 3.36 okay so now 0.32 million liters is the demand okay so next thing is 04.50 is required so we send only 4.40 so now here is 0. so sorry is here demand is 0.10 so next thing is uh, the required is 5.04 but uh, we su supplied 5.04 so that is there is no demand or excess supply okay so, so these are all the excess supplies and these are all the excess demand okay so now we can uh, take the peak uh, so the highest value so here is the highest value and here also the highest value okay so now the total storage required so now uh, we can store the excess supply that is uh, g3 0.36 okay so 0.36 uh, million liters we have to store because the persons only consume 0.48 uh, million liters in the 0 to 4 hours okay so but uh, we supplied 0.84 uh, million liters so we can store uh, rest of the water so there is 0.36 okay so next thing is we uh, required the highest demand over here okay so now uh, the required is the 3.68 but we supply only 3.36 okay so now we can uh, we need to supply more quantity of water that is in storage okay so now now the, that is 0.32 uh, million liters of water we have to store in that place so that's why we can meet the demand okay so if case uh, there, there is no storage over here so we can't meet the demand okay so now uh, we can take 0.32 okay so now the total is 0.68 million liters okay so now the total storage required is 0.68 million liters of water okay So this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you